the board. Jordan Van Hunnick, a nice body check. That one at the side of the net. He can't bash that one into the net. Now back at the point. Caruso shoots. That one's blocked. Not through. Rebound. Oh, that one went through the crease. I don't know if you got a piece. But St. Catharines with some great puck movement. Almost got the first goal of the game. Just behind the... That puck bounces back in front. And does he take it? No, through the crease. Oh, he waited too long. Who was that in front of the net? One of the players, the... That was Eggert. He was all alone in front and he tried to just wrap it around Drakwa taking a shot to the back and that one shot by McDonald's Scott! What a bomb! Bar down! And that's why he's called Captain McDonald. What a shot from Jacob McDonald. He lowers the boom right over the shoulder of Coffin. It's tops in the Geo Tenshaw for rookie scoring. That one shoots, scores! St. Catharines comes right back, Adam Chirapaka! And talk about calling, uh, answering the call. McDonald decides to go top corner on Coffin. So what does Chirapaka do? He goes top corner on Drobak, blocker side. Hamilton looking to turn the fortunes possibly this season, and at least they're gonna try to do this game with a big hit. The line, Andrew Salt has it now with 2-1-1 down low. That one in front, and fan on it, Salt can't get to it, and a penalty. It looks like a penalty's gonna come up in front of the net, or back to Caruso. David Caruso into the middle, that one deflected, that one shot, oh, great pad save! Dynamite save on the first power play shot they've had in the game. Back to Shimpo. He just plays that one in front, tipped, oh, great save! I don't know if it would've had enough to go in, but a great, Left pad saved by Coffin, second period. Romano, oh, a nice check by Van Hunnick who lined him up and Romano goes down hard and back. Along the boards, Christian Pele. Goes along the outside, Rick went into the middle, McDonald, he lost it all! He would've had a chance at that book, it just stopped bouncing. And St. Catherine clears it down the ice for making that pass. St. Catharines goes on the other side, pass to Eggert, he gets the pass in, he scores! Oh baby, what a slick move! Nick Eggert goes in and he deposits that one out of the back of the net on the backhand. What silky smooth hands. Clark, nice pass to Izo. Izo to McDonald, he's got some space, he shoots, he fans on it, Izo whacks it, oh and he missed, that would have been his first of the year and he just couldn't get wood on it. Going back down the other way, it's Eggert. He's got Drummond going to the front. Great block off the mask of Adam Clark, who went diving to make that play and covered up by Drobak. And now we're getting into some intense five-on-five -five action. Rickwood has some space in the middle. Rickwood to Izo. Back to Rickwood. That one shot off the side of the net. Back in front for Izo. He scores! Peter Izo! That's his first of the year! And that scoring chance was generated by some great play from Izo and Rickwood as they were both doing some pitching and catching to each other. Put a leapfrog in front of the Falcons, if not a four-point cushion for St. Catharines. Oh, and it's it back in front! It's tipped in front again! Oh, Guilty Bees almost got another late goal with the final seven seconds of the period. Adams Matthews shoots that one, a nice block by Caruso. And then goes back to McDonald, shoots, oh, and a nice blocking arm save by Blair Coffin. And by Abamont, who gets the puck back. He sees man at the point, that one shot, and he scores! Oh no, a bad shot got through, and Jacob McDonald, or no, Jan Shimpo, that is, looked like he took a slash to the hands on his way by. And all they care about is stopping the offense from Hamilton. And a turnover, Noah Solinger on the right side, he's Pele. Christian Pele chipped over to Monty, pass that one back. Pele at the side of the net, nice play to dig it loose. Pele again, that one shot by the catcher, and there it is, laying in the crease. And where's the puck? Someone's on top of it. My goodness, what a chance. Noah Blakely laying on top of that puck, and I think maybe it squirted loose to Coffin. For him in the draw against Xavier Drummond. He wins it cleanly. Back at the point, that one shot to Puck, it's good! Jacob McDonald double dips! What a beautiful pass and an even better tip from McDonald. Clark shot that puck, not to score, but to pass it to his captain who had it off, on and off his stick in an instant. That one goes the other way. McDonald is a chance, short-handed. Here he comes for the breakaway chance. McDonald, 
He has the goal post. It's at the side of the net. What a chance. McDonald walked in. That would have been the hat trick goal on the shorthanded breakaway, but Jacob McDonald nailed the iron. And that was a circus show of comedy of errors by the St. Catharines Falcons. Gated it. Andrew Somerville clears it out. Nice check at the line. What a big hit by Jordan Van Hunnick. He lowers the boom. A big hit on Michael Santini. Going the other way is Kyler Watson. Watson walks in. He fans on that one. Shot just wide. Quick shot. Back in front. Avamon shoots. Nice save. Getting back in position was Mateo Drovac and got the glove on that shot from Dylan Avamon. Edgar lost control. That one passed over him. Scores. Oh my, what a pass. Adam Cherapaka found Curtis Eggert and a one-time goal gives St. Catharines the 4-3 lead late in the third period. And that might be the highlight of the night for St. Catharines. A beautiful saucer pass. I'm not even sure if that even touched the ice. Two seconds, they've now taken off the point eight, so they wanted to add 1.2 seconds onto the clock. And here they go. Can LaForme win this cleanly or will Drummond win it? The form wins that one off the draw, and they can't get it on goal. The St. Catharines Falcons win the game 4-3 to three on a late goal from Curtis Eggert.